Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. As you look ahead today, here's what I'm expecting. It is going to be dry through most of the morning for central New York. Now, those of you watching us west of Syracuse over the Finger Lakes, you get to mid to late morning, in other words, 9, 10, 11, and the rain is going to be moving in towards your area first. I think the start time, roughly, for Syracuse is about noon, and then 3 p.m. for those of you further north and east. So it moves in from southwest to northeast, and we'll show you that on the future cast in a second. Now, I think the high temperature for Syracuse is somewhere between 55 and 58-ish before the rain starts. When the rain starts, temperatures are going to backpedal through the lower 50s and maybe even upper 40s. It'll be a solid rain for about six hours once the rain starts till it ends. So for Syracuse, that means noon to six. Now, that doesn't mean after that it doesn't rain anymore. I just think there'll be more on and off kind of isolated showers. There'll be times where it's not doing much tonight, at times where it will be raining steadily, so kind of intermittent. So that's why we got to track triple Doppler interactive Doppler radar for you. We certainly will, so can you on cnycentral.com as we've talked about rain develops from southwest to northeast. The wettest weather, meaning the amount of rain, the heaviest rain in terms of in the bucket, on the lawns, you get the drill, is from midday today through Thursday morning. Okay, that's the total amount of rain for that period is going to be the heaviest. I think most of central New York will range from a half an inch to an inch and a half. And for that time period, all our tributaries, in other words, the rivers, the streams, the creeks, the locks, probably should be okay. There probably won't be very much flooding. I mean, could there be some isolated flooding? It's possible, certainly. The heaviest rain is most likely in Pennsylvania, Catskills, and also southern Ontario, in other words, the other side of Lake Ontario. That area could see as much as three or more inches of rain. Now, that is one of those things where if we got that kind of rainfall, then flooding would be more of a higher, higher concern. We'll keep you posted. The pattern remains unsettled. It will not be as wet in terms of the amount of rainfall. In terms of duration, much shorter. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I can't rule out a passing shower sprinkle from time to time. So let's time it out. We'll stop the clock at noon, and I think from about Oswego to Syracuse to Cortland, the rain is beginning. And then you can see it moves into the rest of the area during the afternoon. Look for highs in the 50s and then falling into the upper 40s. In and out of rain tonight, you see that behind me. And then tomorrow, same idea, sporadic showers, not raining every single minute, high again in the mid 50s. One more burst of heavier rain Wednesday night. You can see some of that darker green and yellow before it pulls out. Total rainfall by Thursday morning. Like I've mentioned, a half an inch to an inch and a half. But notice this is what I was talking about before. Other side of Lake Ontario and down in the Catskills and New Jersey and Pennsylvania, that's your best chance of two to locally three and a half inches of rain. So these areas have the best chance of flooding. We'll keep you posted. Thursday should actually be warmer for the first day of May, but it's still unsettled. What I mean by that is we'll have some sun, but you see a little more sun on Thursday versus today and tomorrow but there's still a high probability of a shower thunderstorm figure high 67. Well, this is what I was talking about in terms of the amount of rain. You see Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the probability is lower, but it's not infinitesimal. It's pretty high, but it, even if it occurs, let's say we do get hit with a shower a sprinkle Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the amount is going to be lower. The total rainfall, the duration much lower. So overall, it's a little better, although the temperatures are still struggling in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So except for the first day of May, it's still kind of a struggle. Temps, oh, the warmth isn't too far, but it's not really getting in here. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Have a great day.